me ask you guys a question. So I've got uh, a friend who has been married. I'm going to mix the details up just a little bit because I don't want him or her to be uncomfortable. Um, let's say they've been married for nine years. Okay. Okay. And, you know, in any marriage, you go through highs, you go through lows, you go through highs, you go through lows, uh, you go through seasons. But in this case, they're like, man, this is really bad. We need to go see a therapist about this, a marital therapist, which I think is healthy, super healthy. Because dude really wasn't like down with going to a therapist anyway, and she kind of talked him into it. But um, they're together, and he's like, I committed. I want this thing to work. Let's go to a therapist. So they do. And he's pleasantly surprised. They go three different times, and... You know what? It wasn't as bad as he thought it was going to be, right? She did all the research on the therapist. She's the one that picked it out. He's just like, you tell me where to be, where to go. I'll sit down on that couch and we will work it out. So he does. He goes and for three weeks, things are going really, really well. So well that he starts to get really interested in who this woman is, this therapist is. So he does a deep dive on her and finds out that their marital therapist has been divorced two times. So his question now is, yes, yes, we've gone three times and it mm -hmm. has opened up communication. But because our therapist has been divorced two times, does it give her any less credibility in that area? And do you bail? one 855 Well, couldn't the same be said about your mom who's a family therapist? And I would recommend nobody see my mom <laughs> who was terrible <laughs> so um it's, kind of, it's like it's, it's a similar situation no um right and like if you were going to see like you and your child were going to see your mom and then you did deep dives and realized she doesn't speak to not one not two but three of her children yep that would be a major red flag that is a complete red flag that i would not go to a therapist like that if i did a deep dive yeah. on family i don't know issues, how you would find that out i don't but. know how you would either but that that to me is a little bit different than a divorce yeah isn't it i think so like you not taking care of your kids or your family is i don't know it feels worse okay I mean, that's your feels. That's, that's, yeah. But so is being a marriage counselor. Well, and if you've had two failed... And now, I'm sure the spin would be, well, I've learned. Yeah, you learn from I your mean, mistakes. I'm a better therapist now because I've learned from both failed marriages. So I can pass on what I learned from all of that. But as a client, as a patient, does that give more credibility or do you like... Eh, eh. So for me... um, I, I never really subscribed to the whole, well, you've been divorced this many times. There's nothing you can teach me about marriage thing. Like, I hear people say that about Steve Harvey a lot because he's been divorced so many times while you're <laughs> writing a book about, like, people's marriages. But I've always felt like you can learn from both. Like, you can learn from somebody who's had successful marriages the same way you can learn from someone who has not because then maybe they have a better understanding of all the things you should do because of the things they didn't. So I don't think, like, don't get me wrong, you'll be in the back of my mind. Uh -huh. But if it's working, I, I wouldn't stop going because of the person's uh, past. Hmm. I would rather have a therapist that's been married for, like, 25 years, to be honest with that you. That would be my preference. Uh -huh. Hey, Shannon, good morning. You're on The Burt Show. Hi. Hey, yeah, I don't agree with you, Burt. Okay. Uh, one, we don't know how old they were when they get when a first marriage or a sex marriage. She learned how learned boundaries maybe she learned or maybe he was like you know what marriage is like how many perfect women do everything right and a man cheats maybe she was strong enough to say nope i'm out mm. like we yeah, don't know the the depth of her relationship or her boundaries if she's a good counselor with good perspective we can't hold the past against people that is a great perspective shannon i appreciate you calling thank you thank you all right take care bye. you too bye-bye kelly good morning you were on the bird show hello Kelly. Kelly, 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 hey. Kelly, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's up? Hey, I just wanted to say that, um, yeah, I don't I don't think um, it's good advice to not see the therapist because people can separate their personal and professional lives. But also, like, maybe she learned from her mm -hmm. relationships and can give better advice now. Yeah. That's a good point. And the last caller made a great point also is you just don't know the details. what the details are. Like right. maybe she did get out of some kind, twice maybe, got out of some kind of abusive relationships mm -hmm. and has learned from those. We don't know. Yeah. Hey, Melissa, good morning. 
<laughs> Good morning. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I think that this is one of the biggest um, myths that people misconstrue is that we have to be married and, and married for a long period of time in order to be successful in our careers. And that's just not true. One of the biggest analogies is just like saying, you know, women will go to a male gynecologist. Um, families will often take their children to pediatricians that don't even have children. Um, people will go to fertility specialists that may not have children and may have struggled with fertility themselves. Um, your personal life does not directly impact, especially if you're being an ethical, responsible therapist, mm -hmm. your ability to do your profession. That's a great call. Thank you, yep. Melissa. They're turning me around, man. Yep. The Burt Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.